If accepted, the proposal will see our women's cricketers uh, immediately in the next season uh, increase, uh, have increases in pay of over double uh, their current levels. For the international women, uh, an increase to 179,000 will be the average pay for international women's cricketers, up from 79,000 last year. And for our domestic cricketers, uh, women's cricketers, uh, their, their average pay level will be 52,000, an increase uh, from 22,000 uh, in the previous season. It's a, it really is a, a landmark moment. Uh, it's something that we're very excited about. It's a landmark moment for Australian cricket, and I think it's a landmark moment for women's sport in this country. International male players uh, overall uh, will receive a 25% increase over the course of this five-year term, and uh, our domestic cricketers an increase of 18%. I think those, both of those increases need to be seen in the context of uh, increases over the last five years, which were 63% and 53% respectively. So significant increases over, over recent years, um, but continuing increases over the course of the next five years. One of the real fundamentals in all of this is, uh, and we all need to accept and understand this, is that international cricket actually funds the game. It funds, um, funds everything we do. It funds the, the domestic cricketers' wages. It funds female cricketers wages and it plays a really important role in ensuring that we can develop the game from the bottom up. Uh, I've talked about the importance of grassroots but also our domestic competitions and also ensuring that our talented young cricketers have an opportunity to put their hand up and pursue uh, objectives of their objectives of playing for their country and be paid for it even though they're playing in competitions that don't generate the revenue. Uh, we, have, we have put this um, proposal on the table in regard to a, a certain scenario, um, but we will, as we work through the detail with the ACA, we'll talk about other scenarios um, that are perhaps forecastable, perhaps not. Um, it's important to understand that at this time, and there has been lots of discussion about us not providing detailed financial forecasts. It's important to understand that right now, as I stand here, we've only got about 20% of our reven future revenue over the next five years locked away. Um, that puts us in a really difficult position of being able to accurately forecast or to give forecasts that others rely on. Uh, and we certainly don't want to be in that position. But in this case, uh, we are putting a, a scenario, we have based this proposal on a scenario and we will talk through with the ACA other alternative scenarios that may unfold in time.